A gas with an initial temperature of 830 degrees Celsius undergo undergoes the process shown below. What type of process is this? What is the final temperature? And part C, how many moles of gas are there? So for this process, looking at it, we start at 300 cubic centimeters and go down to 100. So obviously the volume's changing. And looking at this, the pressure starts and stays at three atmospheres. So the pressure's uh, staying the same, so we have an isobaric, baric sounding like barometer for pressure, baric, isobaric process. Process. Okay, so then what is the final temperature? From the graph, we can get the initial and final pressure, of course, like we just talked about. So pressure is 3 atm, and 1 atm is 101.3 kilopascals, and in 1 kilopascal, we have 1,000 pascals. So that gives us 303,900 meters cubed. Or not meters cubed, what am I doing? Pascals, I just had it written right here next to it, geez. Okay, so that is the initial and final pressure. Now let's do volume, which will be meters cubed. We start at 300 centimeters cubed. If we move the decimal place over three, we get 0 0.0003 meters cubed. And the final volume is 100 centimeters cubed. Move the decimal place over six again. One, two, three. Did I say six up here for 300? If I did, you move at six. Okay, so 0 0.001 meters cubed. All right, so now we're straight with everything. So they want, what is the final temperature? They don't give us any sort of moles for this. And so we can use this other relationship that's given to us with ideal gases, PV over T initial is equal to P final V final over T final. So now we want this T final right here. So, and they tell us, I forgot to write it down, we start at T1 is 830, 830 degrees Celsius. So if we add to 73, that gives us 1103 Kelvin. All right, so now we can multiply both sides by T final. Those cancel. So we now multiply all of this as one term, as T final. Now, just to save myself a little bit, like I said, I'm gonna treat P I V I over T I all as one term and divide it over. So that gives us a T final of the final pressure and volume divided by initial pressure times initial volume divided by initial temperature. So when we plug in our values, we have the final pressure we said was the same because it's isobaric, so 303,900. Pascals times the final volume, which is 0 0.0001 meters cubed. Now all of that over 303,900 pascals times the final volume, which is 0 0.0001 meters cubed, all over the initial temperature of 1103 Kelvin. So be very careful on this one, um, just because it's really easy when you're plugging all of this stuff into your calculator to make a mistake. So just whatever you do, just double check yourself, do it a couple times, two different ways, maybe do all of the top stuff as one number divided by all the stuff on the bottom and then do it again as 
all one big thing just to make sure you get the you plugged it in right so final temperature in this case is going to give us 367.667 Kelvin minus 273 gives us 94.6 degrees Celsius or 95 degrees Celsius then they ask us one more thing they say how many moles of gas are there well now that we have our final temperature we can solve for it so we'll use PV equals NRT solving for N we'll divide both sides by RT so N or number of moles is equal to pressure and volume over gas constant times temperature now we could use the initial or final values doesn't really matter oops sorry so I'm going to use um, I think I used the initial yeah I used the initial since it just since it's the values that they gave us I know it's right so pressure initially was 303 900 Pascals times the volume was 0 0.0003 meters cubed and that is all over 8.314 joules over mole K times the initial temperature they gave us was 1103 Kelvin and when we do that n is equal to 0 0.00995 moles or 9.95 times 10 to the negative 3 moles.